Hello, passionate Sailtick FC fans. This is Sailtick Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtick updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtick, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! Celtic's approach to the transfer market has consistently drawn acclaim, showcasing a model that not only nurtures talent but also secures substantial financial gains. Recent financial reports reveal that the club achieved record revenues of £124.6 million, underscoring the importance of strategic player recruitment in maintaining Celtic's fiscal health. However, tales of missed opportunities, especially regarding young talent, can leave fans feeling frustrated and questioning the club's decisions. One particularly painful reminder of such a missed opportunity is the saga surrounding John McGinn's failed transfer to Celtic, a situation that still resonates with supporters. In a similar vein, Mark Giddy has highlighted another instance where Celtic lost out on promising talent, Aaron Hickey. The club's hesitance to meet Hart's asking price for the young Scotland defender ultimately cost them a player who would go on to achieve significant success in Italy. After leaving Hearts for Bologna, Hickey quickly made a name for himself, eventually securing a lucrative transfer to Brentford. Fans are left wondering why Celtic and their rivals, Rangers, do not prioritise signing homegrown talent more frequently. Giddy suggests that this oversight may stem from the recruitment strategies employed by both clubs, which often overlook local players in favour of foreign signings. Giddy expressed his thoughts during the Go Radio football show, noting the potential disconnect within Celtic's recruitment department. He speculated that a lack of local representation may contribute to the undervaluation of Scottish talent, as many scouts might focus on players from their own countries. This leads to a troubling trend where opportunities are missed, exemplified by Hickey's transfer saga, where Celtic hesitated over an additional £300,000 to secure a player who clearly had immense potential. Fans are also reminded that Hickey's journey began at Hearts before his brief stint at Celtic's academy. Despite returning to Tyne Castle, he eventually found his footing in Bologna. In 2022, Hickey reflected on his decision to leave Celtic, citing limited first-team opportunities as a significant factor. His story mirrors that of many young players who have departed Celtic in search of more playing time, highlighting an ongoing concern for the club. With Darren O'Dea now at the helm as Celtic's player pathway manager, there is hope among supporters that the club will better nurture and retain its young talent. The prospect of losing promising players like Hickey may soon become a thing of the past, signalling a new era of development and opportunity for aspiring footballers within the Celtic system. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Celtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Sailtick FC fans. In the aftermath of a staggering 7-1 defeat to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League, whispers of discontent have begun to echo through the corridors of Celtic Park. Fans and pundits alike are now questioning whether Brendan Rodgers, who returned to the club with much fanfare just over a year ago, is the right man to lead the team forward. With expectation soaring high after his impressive first stint at Celtic, the current season has turned into a tumultuous rollercoaster ride, prompting speculation about the manager's future. Since rejoining Celtic in June 2023, Rodgers aimed to replicate the success of his earlier tenure, where he clinched an unbeaten domestic season and two trebles. However, a series of disappointing results, including a League Cup exit to Kilmarnock and a disheartening goalless draw against St Johnston, has left the Celtic faithful restless. Although the team started the 2023-24 Scottish Premiership season with an exciting 4-2 victory over Ross County, the subsequent matches have raised serious questions about Rodgers' tactical approach and decision-making. Critics have increasingly targeted Rodgers for his strategies on the pitch, particularly following the crushing loss against Dortmund. Despite defending his tactics post-match, many fans are struggling to see the clear vision he promised upon his return. The Champions League campaign, which saw Celtic finish bottom of their group with only four points, further fueled the fire of dissent among supporters who expect more from their club at this level of competition. Off the pitch, controversy has also plagued Rodgers' return. 
his comments toward a female journalist, which drew backlash yet were defended by the journalist herself, alongside his subsequent criticisms of match officials, have painted a picture of a manager under siege. Although he has received support from certain quarters, including some players, the pressure continues to mount, with many in the Celtic community believing that a change may be necessary for the club to achieve its ambitions. Brendan Rodgers is not just known for his tactical acumen but also for his complex personality, which has often played a pivotal role in shaping his managerial career. His charisma and charm have endeared him to many players and fans alike, fostering a sense of camaraderie within the squads he has managed. Rodgers possesses an engaging communication style, which allows him to connect with his players on a personal level, often inspiring them to perform at their best. However, this same charisma can sometimes lead to overconfidence, as seen in his ambitious proclamations upon returning to Celtic. Despite his successes, Rodgers has faced criticism for his occasional stubbornness. Once he has made a decision, he is often resistant to change, even when the results on the pitch suggest a need for adaptation. This inflexibility can lead to tension between him and the media, as well as with supporters who feel frustrated by his choices. His recent comments regarding match officials highlight this tendency, while he defends his players passionately, his criticisms can backfire, drawing further scrutiny and raising doubts about his judgment during high-pressure situations. Rogers' resilience is another key aspect of his personality. Having experienced the highs of winning numerous titles and the lows of public backlash, he has developed a thick skin. His ability to bounce back from setbacks has been vital in his career, allowing him to maintain a focus on his long-term goals. This determination is particularly important in the demanding atmosphere of a club like Celtic, where expectations are sky-high and patience can wear thin. Ultimately, Brendan Rodgers is a manager who embodies both the strengths and weaknesses of a modern football leader. His blend of charisma, ambition, and resilience makes him a captivating figure in Scottish football, but it also creates a delicate balance between success and criticism. As he navigates the challenges of the current season, it remains to be seen whether his personality will help him overcome the mounting pressure or lead to further turbulence in his tenure at Celtic. The coming weeks will be crucial not just for the club's ambitions, but also for the future of one of football's most intriguing characters. As Celtic navigates the treacherous waters of the current season, the question remains, will the board support Rodgers through this challenging period, or will they make the tough decision to part ways with the Northern Irishman? With the title race heating up and Rangers breathing down their necks, the clock is ticking for Brendan Rodgers to regain the trust of the Celtic supporters and restore the team's competitive edge in both domestic and European competitions. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.